Hey guys, welcome back to Bernard from the BTN HD, and today is all about hands-on with Microsoft Advanced Threat Analytic, which is a technical preview, and it's going to be expiring pretty soon. So what is it? Uh, so Microsoft Advanced Threat Analytics, or ATA for short, is an on-premise product that helps IT security professionals to protect their enterprise from advanced targeted attacks by automatically analyzing, learning, and identifying normal and abnormal behavior among entities such as users, devices, and resources. ATA also helps identify no malicious attacks, security issues, and risks using world-class cutting-edge research and behavioral analytics to help enterprises identify security breaches before they cause damage. ATA facts, as you can see, it runs in the background automatically, analyzing and learning and identifying normal behavior on your network. It basically alerts you is something crazy such as a, a user trying to log in and then it continue getting fed failures or um, uh, working hours if you are strict with your Active Directory users and you have users to log in owning on a specific time and to be logged out on a specific time they will capture that as well malicious attacks such as over the past hash forge PAC uh, past the ticket golden ticket uh, skeleton key malware that stuff is also captured with the ATA uh, which is pretty cool now, to set yourself up, you're going to download it. Again, you get a free trial. It's preview for now. Uh, the icon, uh, the .exe file looks like this. Uh, when you double click on it, this is what you're going to get. Uh, you're going to click on next. You want to accept the terms and end user license agreement and hit next. You could change the D4 installation path and the database path to a partition. I left everything as the default. Uh, the database data max size, it depends on how big uh, your hard drive space is. Uh, I did everything on a virtual virtualized environment, so I didn't have a huge uh, capacity to do this. So 27 gigs is all I had. Now the central communication IP port is uh, the D4 is a local machine, and uh, security is 443. Uh, the central communication SSL certificate I just basically checked off, create a self-signed certificate, and the management web IP address would be the, the machine that I'm actually using to install this into. The management website SSL certificate, I did another create self-signed certificate and I click next. Okay. And then basically just sit back, relax, and it's going to install. It, it takes a while for it to install. Uh, once you get this prompt and say, do you want to restart the computer now? You want to hit yes. Uh, once it reboots your machine, you need to rerun it again. All right, guys. Uh, if you don't rerun it again, uh, it won't start. So again, once it does, is an issue set up, and it's gonna want you to restart, restart, log in, and then restart the application again. Okay. Once it's completed, it's gonna say installation completed successfully with no problem. You're gonna get a nice little shortcut on the desktop. You double click on it, and it's gonna take you directly to the site. Uh, the username and password would be your local admin, or it depends what account you used. I use an administrative account, so I logged in. You get this right here, uh, a specified uh, domain user, and as well as a domain user password. It, I use an administrative account, but if you want, if you want to do a little bit more strict, and you want to make it more like a uh, best practice like type kind of environment that you actually want to put this out in the environment, so I would say create an Active Directory account just for this particularly, uh, but I just use administrative account and just saved it. Uh, as you can see, it saved it. Uh, it gives you a download gateway. Say, uh, once you put your username and password, you're going to get an option to download the gateway setup. Now, the gateway setup is the same concept that we just I just showed you guys what to install. So as you can see, this is the gateway setup. It's nothing normal. It's basically the same thing. Click it here. Uh, Create the self-signed certificates, gateway registration, and username and password. I use the admin. Uh, it, it basically installs Visual C++. Installation is completed, and that's it. Uh, when I double-click on the gateway, it takes me to this. Uh, you give a nice little description as well as a port mirror domain controller. This works well if it's part of a domain controller and it has full access. Uh, if you have two domain controllers, it even works even better. So I put my domain controller right here. Uh, once it was configured, it was done. So actually, I'm going to take you guys on the live machine. And this is live right now. And 
so as you can see, I, I gave the description as BTNHD ATA. Uh, I gave it BJ uh, ATA. This is actually my domain controller. So this machine that I'm running on this is uh, is also my domain controller. So I, I have my domain controller as well as my Microsoft Advanced Threat Analytics as well as I have a Hyper-V and I have a virtual machine which I was trying to um, cause all kinds of nonsense. I was installing all kinds of nonsense. I was installing like Torrent, uTorrent and uh, I downloaded the Windows Credential Editor. I was just trying to crack and try i'm tr i was trying to get the microsoft ata software to pick up suspicious stuff apparently i wasn't doing a good job because it didn't pick anything up uh once you get this uh up and running you got to make sure that you pick the adapter that you want to capture information from uh at first i wasn't capturing anything because this didn't pop up for me right away eventually it did and then when it when i came back i checked it then a lot of stuff was picking up so uh, I'm going to go and search for that virtual machine that I showed you guys in my Hyper-V, which is right here. And again, I, I didn't not pick any suspicious activities. All the stuff that I've been doing, it did not pick it at all. I probably wasn't doing a great job at it. But it did pick up some computer activities such as the Keybros and the LDAP bind. Uh, it captures some activities. But other than that, that's it. I think this is a great tool. But uh, you you actually have to be really good to to hack the system uh if, if you guys are testing this out and actually have suspicious activities within this uh little portion right here of the program hey shoot me a uh, tweet at uh at bj tech news i want to see how that works out but from right now I've, I've been testing it out and i just cannot get any activity to pop up the only activity that i got so far again is from the computer activity uh and, and that's it so that's my hands-on. I think it's a great product. Like right now, it, the preview will be expiring pretty soon. I'm going to be playing around with it a little bit more. If I get anything out of this portion right here or the activity portion, so activity, I just didn't get too much. Uh, but if I do get anything, I would do a write-up and post it up at my site. Uh, other than that, guys, hopefully you guys enjoy this hands-on with the Microsoft uh, Advanced Threat Analytic uh, Preview. If you have any comments or concerns, leave them at the bottom. Don't forget about hitting that like button. And if you are testing this out, hey, leave a comment right below. I want to know some. I want to know a little bit more about this. I'm still learning from it, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.